I'm Adrian Schneer, Advancement Coach and Strategist, Lawyer and Professor, and you're listening to the Advancement Spot Podcast, the podcast all about academic and professional skills, strategy, and mindset to help you make big moves to achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams. If you're looking to accomplish more and take your next steps with supportive and experience-informed strategies, look no further. Let's get started. Hello. Hello to you. Yes, you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of time with me. Welcome to the Advancement Spot Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Schneer, and I am so excited to be joining you on your journey. I can't wait to learn more about you, but in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and what we do at Apply Yourself, the Advancement Spot. At Apply Yourself, we help applicants apply to graduate and professional school programs. That means that we help applicants understand what is expected of them in applications, and we actually help them operationalize skills that they need in order to complete their applications in a way that they are proud of, that produces a wonderful, personalized, polished application that meets all of the requirements. I have coached clients in their application processes in a vast variety of areas, from master's programs in genetic counseling to political science to PhDs to law school, medical school, other professional schools, and other complementary and alternative professional school program applications. We coach and strategize with applicants, again, students or mature applicants, in order to help them develop the most amazing, personalized, and true, yes, accurate applications that are founded in your values, your experience, and your goals. I get applicants that come to me and say, but everyone has done so much more than I have. And my response is, let's just have a conversation because I'm willing to bet that you've done more than you think. You just haven't written it down. And 100% of the time, that is true. The key to our approach is that our approach is holistic. We coach the person and we coach the person, the personal life and the professional life all stem from that same person. People often talk about their professional life or others' professional lives, but we at Apply Yourself know that the personal affects the professional and vice versa. So we take a holistic approach where we help you develop your professional life, addressing anything that we need to going on personally in order to ensure your progress, your success, and ultimately your absolute advancement beyond your wildest dreams. Ultimately, why do any of us want to advance in whatever area we're interested in? I have some ideas and I think that maybe you'll relate. First of all, we want a certain type of life. We want to make a certain kind of impact a certain amount of impact. We want to develop certain skills. We want to create the sort of family that we want, the sort of social group that we want, the sort of freedom that we want. Why do we want to advance? Because we want something better. We want to keep getting better, keep developing our skills, keep growing personally, professionally, and we don't want to be held back by fear. We don't want to be held back by doubt insecurity, over analysis, competition, you name it. We don't want to be held back by it. We work with you to strategically overcome these challenges, not by ignoring them. We don't ignore them, but we use health conscious, supportive and experience informed tools, tips, tricks and strategies in the long term and in the short term to help you more than achieve your potential and do it feeling supported and confident. Now, I'm not new to this. Since 2015, I have been successfully working with applicants from all demographic and all socioeconomic backgrounds to successfully achieve their goals. I have successfully coached clients through application processes for various graduate and professional programs. And even after admission, I coach clients who want to pivot from one program or school to another. I have also successfully coached clients through major career transitions and promotions in both the public and private sectors. I have seen quantifiable results. I have seen lives changed based on the work that we've done. I myself have been through many application cycles. Stay tuned for the next episode for more about my journey. 
I have worked professionally in research and at law firms, and now I run a law firm that I founded called Schneer Law and Policy Consulting right after I completed my articles at a well-established and respected downtown Toronto litigation firm. I'm also a professor. I've been teaching at York University since 2011 and since 2018 as an adjunct professor in health policy, pharmaceutical policy, and regulation, and now at a Toronto law school teaching pharmaceutical regulation and law. I've had thousands of students, which means that I've graded many more thousands of assignments, developing my skill of helping students write effectively and teach students how to develop skills. I've mentored many students individually through their academic and career transitions, and I have taken and continue to take students as research assistants. For some additional background, my research specialization is health policy, pharmaceutical policy, regulation, and law, and I have published both as a solo author and on papers with research teams. Now, I'd like to tell you a bit about why I do what I do at Apply Yourself, why we help applicants apply to graduate and professional schools, and why we help professionals make important career transitions in their lives. I have sat on several admissions committees and job search and promotion committees. I have seen many qualified applicants whose applications just didn't cut it. The experience was there, but the ideas were not fleshed out, they weren't polished, and the applications themselves lacked in really showcasing the applicant, their experience, their values, and their goals. In some cases, applicants submitted applications to the committees that I was on four different programs. The applications weren't specific to the program or to the job. And I've seen applications written very, very poorly with improper formatting, improper spelling, grammar, sentence structure, you name it, I've seen it. And this has held people back from getting accepted to the program or the job that they hoped to obtain. It was on these admissions committees that I learned the importance of self-reflection in the applications process. It is really important that when we're going through application processes, that we have taken the time and the energy that it requires to actually reflect on ourselves, on our experience, on our goals, on our values, on why we want to do what we want to do. This is a really important piece that isn't talked about enough. I have seen clients that have come to me and said, well, I Googled this. Isn't this the way to do it? And the answer is usually no. Maybe you've gotten some good tips, but certainly how to write an application is not an answer that you're going to find on Google. And the reason for this is that it is an intensely personal process that requires skill. And so we are here to support you. Applications are not easy. They're actually really hard. Meeting all of the requirements of all of the different pieces of the application is really difficult. What does a personal statement entail? What does it even mean? What is an autobiographical sketch? What are referees? What should my reference letters say? What writing sample should I produce? What if some grades on my transcript aren't good enough? These are all challenges that applicants face. If any of these resonated with you, let me just tell you, you're not alone. I've seen it and we have overcome challenges with my clients going through the process of coaching and strategy with them. Applications are also not intuitive. You weren't born knowing how to write an application. Applications and application development are a learned skill. This is a very difficult thing to do. You've got pressure that you're putting on yourself. You've got pressure from your family. You've got pressure from friends and other professional circles. You have social group pressures and expectations. There are expectations that are external to you that you're trying to meet, even when those may not be expectations you asked for and expectations that you may not want for yourself. And it may be difficult to make a move that is not in alignment with other people's expectations of you. If you want to do something but it's different than what other people expect of you, that's out of alignment. And that is a very, very difficult and pressure-filled situation to deal with. And we are here to support you through those situations as well. Now, applying to graduate and professional schools is not for the faint of heart, but that's what makes you different. You're motivated. 
You're resilient. You want to build a better life for yourself and your family, and you want to achieve more than you can even imagine is possible. How do I know that this is possible? Because I've been there myself. And I'm going to tell you a bit about that in the next episode. Since 2015, I have been helping applicants and professionals make big moves. And I don't mean just submit applications. I mean, I have helped applicants make moves that are actually changing the trajectories of their lives. And I've seen it live. I have seen the work that we have done, get them into programs, and their lives are completely different from, let's say, their trajectory that would have been had they not been accepted to their choice programs or their choice jobs, or had they not received the promotions that they received after working and through working with me. We make big moves here at Apply Yourself. This is no joke. We work really intensely in order to help you advance. We help you develop the skills that you need to advance. This isn't just about ideas about where you should apply or what sort of job is right for you. What we do here is more than that. We develop skills that you need in order to be able to even identify what it is that you want to do and to be able to work through the application process and ultimately succeed by getting into those programs that you want. We work on mindset. Much of the challenge associated with application writing is mindset. It's All of the negative, toxic thoughts that go through our minds that prevent us from making those big moves. Feelings like we can't do it. Feelings of looking at where other people are and saying, why can't that be me? Those comparisons that we can't help but make in our minds. Fear of failure. Fear of not meeting the expectations of other people's pressure. And so here with me, we work through that. We work through all of that in order to ultimately help you advance and achieve your goals. We use strategies that work for you, not for anybody else. And that's important. Everyone has different learning strategies and learning styles. Everyone has different goals and different ways that they got to the place that you are now. It's really important that we work personally with our clients in order to understand where they've come from, where they are, and where they want to go. And our work takes them even further than that. We also know about the competition. We're not wearing rose-colored glasses. We understand the competition. I've been through immensely competitive application processes. But let me tell you something. The competition's not going anywhere. So don't let them scare you. We know they exist. And this is why we focus on you. We help you to drown out all that noise. We help you to stop reading and rereading and rereading and rereading those application and admission statistics. We know that those exist, but those aren't what help us get in. So we focus on you. We know about the competition. We can talk about it for a second and then we put it to the side and we focus on what matters. And that's you. That's understanding where you come from, what you want and how we're going to get you there. Our Apply Yourself, the Advancement Spot community has grown over the last seven years. We started out in 2015. And to be honest, I didn't even know that I was starting this. Apply Yourself began in 2015 while I was writing my PhD dissertation in Starbucks. I would go to Starbucks every single day and I would write my dissertation. And there were other people who were working there every day too. And through conversation with other fellow coffee sippers, they would ask, what are you working on? I would ask what they're working on. And sometimes they were working on applications and they said something like, oh, you've been through this process before. Would you mind reading over my application? And so I did. Fast forward seven years later at the time of this recording, And we are now a successful company based in Toronto, Canada. We are in a brand new office space on Avenue Road in Toronto. We have a second floor storefront at Avenue Road and Brook, just south of the 401. Funnily enough, three or four doors north of where that Starbucks used to be. 
We're also launching our own course very soon called Mastering Academic Applications, which takes you from scratch to submission in 12 weeks. That means that you don't even have to have started your application in order to enroll in this course and complete it and submit it in 12 weeks. If you're interested in this course, send us an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com and we'll add you to the wait list. I hope you learned a little bit about us and why we are so dedicated to your success. Thank you so much for joining me and see you again next week. Thanks for listening to the Advancement Spot podcast. If you heard something today that helped you get one step closer to achieving the amazing life you want, and you'd like to learn more about working with me, I'd love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help you. So follow me on Instagram at applyyourselfglobal and send me an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode, leave this episode a review, and share this episode with somebody you think needs a boost of inspiration and actionable tools to help them succeed. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.